My name is Zoe and I met Dr. Garber when I became pregnant and I wanted to find out if it was possible for me to safely get an epidural. I had actually had a spinal cord injury um, about 20 years ago and I have rods in my back and scar tissue and I was told that it might be impossible for me to have an epidural. I'm Stephen Garber, MD. I'm the medical director for obstetric anesthesiology at Saddleback Hospital. And I met Zoe when her obstetrician asked me to come and consult with her about an epidural placement. Zoe had spinal instrumentation, rods, and her back had a significant scar, and I remember it was very, very tender. And normally the scar is on the midline of your back. When I palpated a little bit, felt your hips, and then looked over, and I, when I picked up the Acuro, I came to realize that your scar wasn't on the midline, which was interesting and presented actually an easier entrance for the epidural. So the Acuro helped me identify the midline, which meant it wasn't on top of your scar, and that would be a little bit easier placement for you considering how tender your scar was. And I thought that's a great idea to be able to bring it to the console and then see and get at least an idea. Now things can change between that time and your labor, but uh, we were very fortunate. It helped me visualize your space and then was able to visualize it during your labor as well. Zoe, did you have any anxiety about the preparation of the possibility of you getting an epidural? What was your thinking process prior to our meeting? Anytime I felt pain on my back, like if somebody touched it, I knew that that was painful. So the thought of a needle going into my back was extremely scary. Um, but I was definitely thinking, you know, it was something I wanted. I wanted the epidural and I wanted to make sure I was going to do everything possible to make sure I was going to be a candidate for it. So when, um, when I met with you, I definitely felt at ease once you said that there was room for it. So I was so pleased with that. Um, yeah, my anxiety was as very high um, before I met you. I remember before the consult that your doctor had shown me your x-rays and I looked at those and it was very significant. The metal had gone down to the area so there was enough space down here, but with the metal in there it sort of compressed the spaces so they were narrower so I was a little bit concerned about that and then when I saw you after using the epidural locator I was able to see that I'd be able to get probably in those small spaces and that's the advantage of the locator is that it can really precisely show me exactly where I need to go and after that I felt comfortable this simple tool could help me in difficult patients getting an epidural in faster and maybe more efficiently and maybe when I couldn't at all. Since you are able to help me, I would like to help other moms that are going to be having their babies. I thought that, you know, all the anxieties and um, fears that I had about the epidural um, would probably be the same for any other mom. So if you're able to help me with my higher risk uh, situation, I think that you could help uh, lots of other women that are getting ready to have their babies as well. And, um, you know, it just really brought a sense of peace to the whole experience, knowing that you had confidence in this device and, you know, the, the, just that the whole experience of having the baby and the epidural would be just that much easier. Well, thank you for all that. And again, thank you for sharing your story and your time. It really means a lot uh, to me. And the, I want to thank Ravana too for coming up with the technology uh, to be able to create a device like that. It's been very, very helpful and, and certainly in your case.